Hi, I'm April, and over the past year, I've spent a bunch of time working on my skills to try to progress my writing. You got it. Yeah. Sometimes it's been a success, and sometimes not so much. But overall, I've been having a ton of fun, and it's been cool to see some progress lately. Today, I just wanted to sit down with you and share what I feel are the top five things that have made me a better mountain bike rider. The first most important and surprising thing that's helped me so far is learning to drop my lead heel. When I first started riding, Kyle would mention this to me and I never took it very serious. When he coached me on riding position is when it really clicked for me because I got to see just how much my weight transfers when I drop my heel or not. And I finally realized just how much weight I was putting into the front of my bike when I wasn't dropping my heels. And when I was dropping my heels, I was able to get my weight lower and farther back, which was necessary for all the skills that I was working on. I also found that dropping my heel affects my pedaling as well. And I was never doing that before. And I found that I was maybe using more of my shin muscles rather than my stronger calf muscles and getting more power and drive into each pedal. So it was really exciting when that clicked as well. Once I realized just how impactful dropping my lead heel was and the limited ankle mobility that I had, I realized that I needed to do a lot of work with stretching out my ankles. So I dedicated a whole month to stretching them out and I gained 10 degrees of mobility in my ankles. It's something that I still need to work on and I can't just forget about, but I instantly saw improvement with all the skills that I was working on and just my riding overall once I got that extra mobility. The second most helpful thing that I've learned is equal braking with the front and rear brake. Unfortunately, I learned this the hard way the first time I rode downhill at a bike park and ended up flipping over the bars a few times because I would squeeze my front brake too hard. And I think this is because I come from dirt biking where the controls are a little bit different and I was used to being able to use the front brake a little bit harder. I quickly learned the most helpful tip of equal braking with the front and rear brake and that helped me be able to ride down the trails safely, <laughs> more safely that day. Later on, when I started riding harder trails where I would get in situations where I was more uncomfortable or on steeper sections where I didn't have the confidence, I ended up using too much rear brake and would drag the rear wheel, locking it up, causing me to gain more speed, which is exactly what I was trying to avoid. So I had to learn the other way and not use too much rear brake in situations where I was more scared or not confident. So after working on some drills with Kyle and learning how much control I can have with the bike by using equal braking, I felt so much more confident on the trail. The third most helpful thing for me has been practicing patience. I think this has been the biggest factor in my progression with jumping. When I first started riding, my timing was all off because I would be too impatient and would pop too early on jumps. This would result in me not getting enough lift or getting really sketchy in the air. <laughs> Once I started working on my patience, my timing got way better on jumps and I've been more confident ever since. Patience has also been another huge factor in my bunny hops and other skills. When you're scared to do something, it's hard to be patient and not rush it. But I found that focusing on it has helped me overcome a lot and become a more confident rider. The fourth most helpful thing for me has been sessioning a section or feature on a trail. When I first started riding, we would just ride trails from start to finish, only stopping to regroup or for me to catch my breath. <laughs> There's many times when we'd be riding down a trail and I would be thinking about a certain section the whole way down, anticipating it and hoping that I would finally get it only to ride by it or have to walk past it in shame. <laughs> Once we started focusing on coaching and really stopping to look at a section and work through it, I really began progressing as a rider. Yeah. So don't be afraid to stop in session things. The fifth most helpful thing I found for me is filming myself. There have been so many times where I felt like I was doing something right, but luckily we would have footage to show an outsider's perspective of the actual truth of what I was doing. <laughs> And it's really eye-opening to see that maybe you weren't getting as far back as you thought you were, maybe you weren't dropping your heel, or weren't getting as high as you thought you were. It's nice if you have someone with you to review the footage with as well, but it's also very helpful to just film yourself. I've done that a lot over this past year when I'm practicing manuals or wheelies on my own. It might be embarrassing at times to take out the camera, but it will be so helpful for you in the end. So those are the top five things that have helped me become a better rider. I'd also be interested to know what has helped you guys as well, and maybe I can learn from that too. It's been so much fun progressing this past year, and just to feel more confident on my bike. 
and I hope some of these things can also help you guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time. helped me the most is learning patience. <laughs> this is not <laughs> <laughs> which I did not learn from Kyle. <laughs> that happened. There's a squirrel out here. I didn't know there's squirrelies out here. Oh my god, Connor would be so happy. <laughs>